Opportunity top 10 program coming into your house. Uh, it's a big opportunity to see where we're at. Uh, I think we'll be fired up about it. And we just have to prepare where and we'll be ready to go. How big is it to start SEC play at home? It's big. I mean, this is what it's all about. You know, playing with the best of the best. Playing in the SEC West is fun. It's competitive. And it's just trying to, it's, it's going to be a good time to see where we're at. We'll be ready to go, like I said. What do you think of the defense's performance against Lamar on Saturday? Uh, I think the defense executed pretty well. Like I said uh, last week, or uh, well, this weekend, uh, the defense in practice was flying around, and, and you know, we had a lot of energy in practice, and that, that just overlaid to the gameplay, and that's that's one thing that helped us be successful. Is that because y'all think you're more familiar with Coach Elko's defense? Because you all do look a lot faster. Yeah, we, we're definitely more familiar with it. We're comfortable in it, and you know, we already made our mistakes from it, so you know, we try not to make those again, and. And that's just what help us play fast. We, we know the defense in and out. We've been studying it hard. And Coach Elko and his staff have been on us heavy. And it's just a big, big thing for us. How much tape have you already seen of Auburn? Uh, I've seen Auburn, but I haven't watched much. I mean, I'm going to hit it hard. We're going to hit it hard this weekend. We'll, we'll see. How you know, important is it for them? How much do they want to establish the run in that offense? Uh, yeah, they're, they're definitely a run team. Most teams in the SEC West, you know, they love to run, but they can throw too. So. But our job, you know, is to be ready and prepare for whatever they, they throw at us. Do you feel like that was kind of a breakout moment for you last year when you went up there and started? Uh, yeah, I feel like that was a game. That was a real good game for me. Uh, that was kind of like my, my first time being out there. You know, I just I feel like I just got my feet wet, so that's, that's big. What do you make of their running back, Whitlow? Uh, he's, a, he's a great player, great athlete. You know, we have to uh, stop him, don't let him get high, and we'll be all right. They got a freshman quarterback coming in making his first true road start. Mm -hmm. You guys licking your chops to... Yeah. Welcome to the SEC. Yeah, most definitely. You know, we just gotta uh, play our game. You know, and and do do what we're, we're taught to do, and we'll be just fine. And you know, we our defensive line. I don't have any doubts against those guys. I'm sure those guys will get home. I was gonna say it's gonna be strength against strength, right? They want yeah, to pound it, and y'all are definitely. awesome against the run too. So most definitely. expect that battle inside to be like on Saturday. Uh, I expect it to be a dog fight. Our D line. I mean, those guys. Those guys are awesome, and I love playing behind those guys, and those guys know their assignments, and they play hard every snap, and that's what I love about them. How much do you need the 12th man to show up loud and help you rattle that troop pressure? I almost definitely need the 12th man. I love the 12th man. The 12th man have have always been there, and you can always count on them, so I'm not even worried about that. I already know the 12th man to be there loud and proud. How big a factor will that be, considering they've got a true freshman making his first true road start? Uh, that would be a big factor, you know. I'm not sure if, if he played in an environment like this. So, you know, being in an environment like this, we'll see how he followed under pressure. Was this past weekend, was that the performance you guys were looking for to, to kind of bounce back and get back in the winning things? Well, we was just looking to execute and, you know, just, just dominate in all phases. And Coach Fisher always talked to, talked to us about, you know, just controlling what we can control and, you know, doing our job. And so I think that the team as a whole did their job and we control what we can control. I guess with a freshman quarterback, the positive for you all is that this is only what his third or fourth start. Mm -hmm. The negative is you wouldn't know what his tendencies are. Mm -hmm. There's not much on film about him. Yeah. So how do you, how in the past, how have y'all treated young quarterbacks? Do you blitz them? Do you play well, back in coverage? And Coach Elko's game plan is always awesome. So what he'll do, he'll watch <laughs> it. I mean, even if it's a different quarterback, at the end of the day, they're probably still doing the same thing, uh -huh. just different guy doing it. If, and so Coach Elko always do does a wonderful job. I'm saying wonderful mm -hmm. at you know what he does, and he always have us prepared. So I'm not worried about that. I'm sure if we just come out to practice every day and you know buy in, and we'll be um, fired up. About now, it. did Malzahn try to any trick plays on y'all last year? Because he likes to put those. Uh, most one of their touchdowns was, was a I was just going to say that. Screen, yeah, deep ball touchdown. Yeah. We just gonna have to be disciplined as a defense, and you know, always expect the, unex the unexpected, and we'll be fine. How much, if at all, have you guys talked about last year's game? I mean, I know it's early on in the week, but you think that'll be talked about at all this week? Uh, I'm sure it'll be talked about. I mean, I think with last year's game is we was right there, and we just let them get the momentum, and, and they just ran away with it. It's it's, it's the small things, you know. Uh, I think they blocked the uh, punt right before the half. They came out the second half with all the momentum, so momentum is big. And like Coach Richard said, you have to win in all phases, and and that was a big uh, part of you know. How big, it, how big will be getting that pass rush going this week? I mean, you guys haven't really gotten consistent pressure in the backfield yet. 
Uh, it'll be big. It'll be real huge. You know, we have to, we need to come out with sex and at the same time, we need to separate the ball from the ball carrier. So, you know, uh, the D-line and, and, the, and the linebackers, we have to get home this week. It's a must. That was one of the few games last year with a bunch of Sam linebacker mm -hmm. instead of the nickel. Mm -hmm. Is that because you were the Sam? Who's the Sam right now? Do you think we'll see more of that in this game? Uh, I'm not sure if it's because of me. Uh, I just think that was the game plan for last year. I'm not sure what the game plan is this, uh, for this week. We'll see at practice today. We'll find out. And I just know that the, the, the game plan would be awesome. So If the Sam's on the field, is that – is that Hansford? Yes, is that that's Hansford. Okay. That's Hansford. Okay. Yes. What, what kind of blocker is Ball Tree, and how neat is his story switching from the O-line to, to become a ball for uh, he, he He's a big blocker. I think him moving from O-line to the fullback is kind of like, man, I mean, it's kind of like an O-line is coming at you if you really think about it. So, you know, and, and I think that one thing with him is he – He's not afraid of anyone. He'll go put his hat on someone. That's what I like about him in practice. You know, he come hard and he's going to – in practice, he's like – I feel like he, he's good competition for me to go against because he's getting me ready for the game. And, and I think that he's just a, a hard worker and a great player. How big would it be to get get one of these, buddy? I mean, you hang, you hang with number one Clemson for mm -hmm. two years. You mm -hmm. hang with Bama, you know, for a while before they pull away. But instead of hanging, how big would it be to actually win one of these uh, showdowns? Well, it'd be big, but at the same time, you know, we're not focused on the the end of the the, uh, the outcome. We just focus on the process, and you know, and if we keep doing that, then we'll get what we want at the end of the day. But it'd be big for us. How do you know that? Because y'all had some great stats against Lamar and against Texas State, mm -hmm. and they're not competitive with you all. So how do you get a sense that those stats and what you did is not fool's gold, so to speak? Uh, at the same time, you know, football is football, and. Mm -hmm. When we're playing, we're not really thinking about the stats. You know, we're just executing and, you know, sticking to the game plan. So, I mean, we'll have a wonderful game plan as, as long as we buy in and do what we have to do, control what we can control. I mean, yeah. does Coach Elko address that? Did he say, what What does he talk to you? But what did he talk to you about it after Lamar as a team? Uh, he talked to us. He always talked to us, you know, going in. And he tell us, you know, don't, don't take no game lighter than any game that we play. We have to approach this approach the game like we're playing the number one team in the country like I always say and uh, I think that's big for us so if we do that then if we're flying around then you know it's just a standard we're setting and we're trying to achieve. Is he tougher on y'all after after a law I mean a win over Lamar or Texas State? Well he's he's always tough on us I think I believe with him is you know it's, it's, it's never good enough him or Coach Fisher and, and that's one thing I like is you know they always see things in us that we don't see in ourselves. We can always get better and there's always things we can improve in.